problem based on the Clausius Clapeyron equations, Clapeyron equations. So I have collected some problems. The vapor pressure of the benzene is 1.53 into 10 power 4 newton meter square at 303 Kelvin and 5.2 into 10 to the power 4 newton meter square at 333 Kelvin. Calculate the latent heat of vaporization of benzene over this temperature range. So formula is uh, 2.303 uh, log of so here we require two pressures there so we have to write two pressures so one pressure is p2 divided by p1 and this will be equal to heat of vaporization by r and there is a two temperature difference one by t1 minus one by t2 so just we can put this value this is your uh, p1 this is your p2 so temperature also given 303 and this is the minimum temperature this is the t2 temperature so we can directly put this value 2.303 log of uh, 5.2 into uh, 10 to the power 4 divided by 1.53 into 10 power 4 and this will be your delta heat of vaporization we need to find out and uh, R is given here 8.314 and temperature is 1 per uh, lower temperature minus higher temperature 333 so on solving we will get equation here delta heat of vaporization will be uh, 3 4 2 1 5 joule or we can write in the form of 34.215 kilojoule so this is our answer uh, second question calculate the vapor pressure of water at 300 kelvin if its heat of vaporization is 540 kilojoule kilo per gram calorie per gram so this is the heat of vaporization calorie per gram so we have to find the vapor pressure at 300 kelvin okay so heat of vaporization means the temperature is 100 degree centigrade so again you can use this uh, equations uh, 2.303 okay uh, log of so p2 by p1 equal to heat of vaporization divided by r and here uh, minimum temperature minus maximum temperature so on solving we will get here so we have to find the temperature 300 is given here uh, 400 uh, atmospheric pressure we know that we have to find the p2 so here log is equal to so um, maximum temperature they have given here 343 uh, uh, 373 so this is boiling point means 100 degree centigrade so temperature will be your uh, 373 so this is your higher temperature so here p2 will be for higher temperature p2 will be your 7631 atmospheric pressure p1 is given and heat of vaporization 540 calorie so convert into uh, your uh, joule so by the way into 18 per gram so uh, 540 into per gram so we have to take the one mole of water so 540 into uh, 18 gram so it becomes a per gram of water so divided by 2 r equal to 2 1 by temperature is 300 and 1 by this temperature will be your 373 so on solving here we will get uh, p1 is equal to how much 331.92 millimeter so this is our answer uh, if kw of uh, of water at a 60 degree is 9.5 in 10 part minus 14 what is the heat of neutralization so heat of neutralization we know very well that is uh, water is break into h plus and oh minus so here we have to find the heat of neutralization okay so again we have uh, two dissociation constant one is 60 degree and one we can take at different degree centigrade that is 25 degree centigrade from the room temperature you can calculate it so again we can write a 2.303 log of kw2 divided by kw1 and here delta h by r and 1 by uh, t1 minus 1 by t2 so lower temperature minus higher temperature so here they have given higher temperature lower temperature will be 25 degree centigrade so here lower will be 25 degree centigrade that is 298 Kelvin. So, write here formula 2.303 log of Kw2, so 9.5 into higher temperature minus 14 divided by lower temperature 10 power minus 14. So, this will be delta H, and here R is given here. So, if you are taking delta H R, 2, so you will get here 1 by this will be 298 minus 333 so on solving we will get here delta h that is 12 
12.76.2 calorie or we can write here 12.76 kilo calorie so this is our answer at 0 degree centigrade for the decomposition reaction of n2o5 rate constant is 7.87 into 10 to the power minus 7 per minute if activation energy for the reaction is 24700 calorie per mole what is the rate constant so this is the equation e equation will be same but uh, things will be rate constant we have to find out means 2k value is given here so we will use the r a equation that is a modified uh, clear press equation in the form of r in s equation so again we can write here log of uh, k2 by k1 equal to instead of delta h instead of delta h we can here take here activation energy so here write here activation energy divided by 2.30 3 into R, R and here lower temperature minus higher temperature so we can put value log of uh, K2 and here K1 is given 7.874 this one and EA we need to find it EA is again given here 24700 okay and divide by R so 2.3 so this is your calorie so put R2 and here temperature is 1 by 50 so they have taken here it is not 50 it is here uh, 25 degree centigrade and here 0 degree centigrade so it will be your uh, 273 minus divided by uh, 298 so on solving we will get here k2 value so k2 is nothing but it will come here 3.557 into 10 per minus minute so this is your per minute this will be your per minute so this is your rate constant value uh, next question uh, boiling point of a liquid is 50 kelvin at one atmospheric pressure and heat of vaporization is 460.6 kelvin per mole what will be its boiling point at 10 atmospheric pressure so again we have to given two pressures given one is one atmospheric pressure and second we have to is given 10 atmospheric pressure delta h is given here so we have to find the boiling point at the atmospheric pressure so second temperature we have to find out so again you can use the uh, same equation log 2.303 log uh, p2 by p1 here delta h by r and temperature will be 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 so again we will solve it so 2.303 log so temperature by press second pressure is 10 by 1 equal to this is given here uh, 46 is 460.6 so right here 46 uh, 460.6 and r is equal to 2 kelvin and temperature is 1 upon 50 kelvin minus t2 okay so on solving we will get here t2 equal to 100 k so this is the boiling point of the liquid at 10 atmospheric pressure pH of pure water at 25 degree centigrade and 60 degree centigrade are 7 and 6 respectively. Calculate the pH of the pure water at 50 degree centigrade. So we have to find the 50 degree. So first uh, 25 and 60 is 7 and 6 pH. There are concentration of hydrogen given here. So for this uh, we should know the dissociation constant. So for pure water of Kw we have uh, dissociation constant is different here for as uh, 25 degree we know the dissociation constant is 10 per minus 14 so for this one dissociation constant 10 per minus 12 okay this we have to know that for the uh, from there we will find the delta h and delta h means the heat of enthalpy will be common to every temperature so again we will uh, write this value uh, 2.303 log of kw2 by kw1 and here delta h by r and this will be your 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 okay so again uh, for 25 degree centigrade uh, kw1 is 10 power minus 14 and if you take here 60 degree centigrade so here kw2 will be 10 to the power minus 2 so this is the experimental value okay so in this experimental value just put it here uh, 2.303 log of so kw is given here w so w2 is given here minus 12 divided by minus 14 and this will be delta h is constant for every temperature so here r is 2 and this is the lower temperature uh, minus this is the higher temperature so on solving we will get here uh, delta h is equal to that is 26.12 into 10 power 3 
calorie now we have to find for 50 degree centigrade so again for 50 degree centigrade so again same we have to find out so again 2.303 so log of uh, 10 power minus 2 60 degree and this is for kw for 50 degree centigrade so this will be equal to so delta h we know that that is 26.12 into 10 power 3 this will be constant for every temperature divided by 2 and again this will be your 313 uh, for 50 degree centigrade and this will be your for 60 degree centigrade hmm? so from here we will get uh, kw is how much this will be at 50 degree centigrade will be uh, this is equal to 2.86 into 10 to the power minus 13 so this is the kw now we have to find the ph of the pure water so we know the kw so again we can write here uh, h plus is equal to a square root of kw okay so here we will get answer 5.34 uh, 5.3459 into 10 to the power minus 7 so ph will be 6.27 so this is the ph of the solution uh, this question find the vapor pressure of a solution uh, for 0.1 molar solution molar this is the molar solution of a non electrolyte when present in water so some uh, non electrolyte present in wa uh, water so after this uh, present uh, present of this water so solution become 0.1 molar and the heat of vaporization for that uh, solution is 9.72 kilocalorie per mole and anti log of some value they have given here okay so uh, we have to find the vapor pressure of this solution at 75 degree centigrade and for 100 degree centigrade the heat of vaporization already given the temperature two temperature is given here delta h is given here we have to find the pressure so again we have to use the formula same that is the formula based on pressure so 2.303 log of so p not 1 divided by p standard 2 2 pressure is given delta h by r so temperature will be 1 by lower temperature minus 1 by higher temperature so we can do 2.303 uh, 2 log so this will be your uh, pressure p1 higher pressure is given here uh, that is atmospheric pressure 760 and p not p second pressure we don't know that is that is the vapor pressure at 75 degree centigrade that we don't know so delta h is given here 9.72 so we can put here so 9.72 9.72 multiplied by 3 and divide by 2 and this is your lower temperature is given 348 minus 1 by 3 73 higher temperature so on solving we will get here uh, p naught at 75 degree centigrade will be uh, 298 millimeter so this is our answer the dissociation constant of a weak acid are 1.8 into 10 power minus 5 1.7 into 10 power minus 5 at 45 degree centigrade 25 degree centigrade and 1 atmospheric respectively if delta h uh, degree standard heat of uh, enthalpy standard heat of enthalpy remain constant for this temperature region what is a standard heat of enthalpy for this two acid so we have given here two temperature uh, one atmospheric pressure temperature different pressure is same and delta h is also constant and two k value is also given here we can k value also given so it is very easy to find out the delta h so we can use uh, 2.303 this value 2.303 uh, log of k a2 divided by k a1 and this will be equal to delta h naught by r 1 by lower temperature minus 1 by higher temperature so again 2.33 log of so 2 dissociation constant so one is higher mass lower so this is given here 1.8 this is your this is lower again you just put here higher so this is the higher value is the lower value and again delta h is we have to find out standard enthalpy and r is 2 and here lower temperature is 25 means 298 Kelvin minus 318 Kelvin so now we can calculate using mathematics I think uh, you know how to calculate the log so use the concept this one we will get value 5.40 into 10 power 2 square calorie so this is basically our answer